So I was uh, speaking to a friend of mine on the phone because uh, another friend of ours, he's having a party. He's going to be 60. And um, it's very difficult to buy him something because he's got everything he wants. So I said, he doesn't need anything. I mean, if he wants something, he'll go and buy it. Um, and I, and then I said, I could buy him a bottle of wine, uh, except he doesn't drink. And my friend said, what about some beer? And he said, well, I said, well, he doesn't drink. But I, I then thought about maybe a mask. Um, I said to my friend, look, I've been watching TV. They're becoming very fashionable. A lot of footballers are wearing these tight black masks in the stands with, with fancy writing. I could get like weird, like wicks or something, words that nobody understands in, in on a black. And he, he likes football. He likes watching football and he can sit in it. Well, he doesn't have to sit in his house, obviously, but he could go to the supermarket and everyone will think he's a footballer. And my friend said, I don't think that's a nice thing to get. And I said, why not? He said, because it's not like people enjoy wearing masks. People don't enjoy wearing masks. So I was thinking about this and thinking, well, maybe he's right. But then I said, well, what else are we going to get him? There's nothing. He's, you know, he said, well, what about a bottle of wine? With a, you know, I said, he doesn't drink. And we were going around in circles. And then I said, yeah, but the thing is, we're meant to meet him next week, but then we can't because it's the pandemic. So, um, so it's, it was good news in a way because we didn't have to buy him anything. We just could, like, I did say, look, I could send it in the post, the mask. I wasn't giving up. But then he said it will send out the wrong message. But... Uh, that's one good thing about a pandemic. You're not going to see anyone, so you don't have to buy a present. Cheers.